I'm going to repair this computer today. Uh, this computer had been brought by one of my friends and he said that it needs a setup, a Windows installation. So we will do Windows installation on this computer. I will show you how to do it. Before in older days we were using uh, these disks for Windows installation as uh, setup disks. But now today we are using these small USBs which are containing the operating system. These are the installers. They are good enough and very fast also. So I'm going to show you the procedure how to do it using the USB installer. So here is the procedure. So here is what I'm going to start this computer. As you can see, what it is telling is uh, press Control or delete to insert. This is boot. Boot manager is missing. So it's telling like this. It means that the computer has no operating system. So what I will have to do is I have to restart this computer. It is telling to press Dell. So by pressing Dell, I have to enter in the setup. And uh, here, what I have to do is, this is the language is now French. What I can see is, here is a French language selected. So I can change it to English, something like this. And then, uh, I have to see this setup because first time, very very much first time, I'm going to make setup of this computer. So what it is telling is, boot menu F8. So uh, if I will go to boot menu, by pressing F8, I will be able to make selection in the devices. So F8, I have to select. So by F8, you can see, now what I can see is from hard disk, this is the SATA hard disk, here is a SATA and here is a sand disk, cursor blade 1.260, 1.26. So this is what is my USB device, the third one. So I have to select it using the arrow keys and then press enter so by this way I'm able to boot files from my USB installer and from the menu I know that this machine is Asus so here now Windows is starting up showing the Windows 7 splash screen as you can see now in the next screen, this is almost standard, you can see. Uh, from here I can select the English and then uh, install now. So the setup is now starting as you can see. And from here I can select, because in this install Windows versions, so I can select it from Windows 7 Ultimate 7. This is a x86 32-bit and of course here is x64 so first I will try x64 if the machine will accept I will do otherwise I will go for this one and of course this is Windows 7 Ultimate so here next and then I accept the license agreement and uh, of course next so I will go for the second option that is the advanced I'll install a new copy and here as you can see this is the first partition which I can see 115 gigabyte and uh, these two partitions what I can think is they are the um, backup or whatsoever so this partition I will format and uh, will put windows in so from device options I can format it like this so this had been formatted and uh, now I can proceed with the windows so these files each and everything will be copied as you can see this will complete 100% and then the setup will go through the different options I will not show each and everything I will stop camera somewhere and uh, then in the end I will show what's going on so as you can see it's about 98% and it will complete 100% so 100% completed now it's installing updates and then it will complete the installation but it will take a little time now it is saying that it will restart so automatically it should do it's better 
now while it will be restarted we will not select any option instead we will run through the we will boot we will let it boot from uh, uh, the hard disk the hard drive So now the machine is starting up from the hard drive and then the rest of the information it will take of course from the USB installer. Now it's setting up the registry. So the same screen appears again and it will do the rest of the process. So once again it is restarting and the setup will start after restarting the computer. This will be completed in successive restarts many many times starting at restarting so here at this point our com computer is set up and uh, windows had been installed in So if it needs the username, we will type it. So I'm typing his name. And of course the computer name is the same. So here I'm not putting any password because it is on his priority either he is or not. So here I'm selecting the second option that is install important updates only. That will be better. At the time I am not changing, he will do it himself because uh, he did make it wrong. So now still it is registering its components and from here it had been started first time. will restart once again the video performance for this machine is not good at the moment the reason is there is no card no driver installed for the display for the sound also maybe we will see and uh, lot lot of other drivers will not be installed we will install each and everything so then the windows setup will be told completed otherwise if we will not install these things this will not be success uh, successful setup so as you can see very very much simple screen appeared so we will bring some files some basic components over here right click personalize then uh, desktop icons change desktop icons of course much more time okay here so here we will bring computer user files of course and network control panel we don't need and recycle bin is already selected so we will make it okay each and everything come as you know these are the basics this they have been come and uh, here if we will take the properties of my computer so the device manager if you will look at you will be able to see how many drivers are installed and how many are not so by this way you can see the ethernet controller is not installed PCI simple communication controller the MS bus controller these had not been installed and of course the display standard VGA graphic so it is showing by the standard we will not select the standard instead we will go for the proper driver and uh, if we will go for the sound high definition audio device this is also not uh, up to some extent you can say the sound is there but yeah 
basically it works but we will install the proper driver for this also so with this computer one CD had been come this one so this is what is a system CD we will try it so I'm going to put it in the CD tray like this and then we'll try to install drivers from here is my DVD RWO drive I have to open it let us see it will take a little time to be ready so this had been come afterwards you will see uh, run ASSE setup ASUS setup so the ASUS setup we are going to run automatically uh, they will install the drivers I think the drivers will be installed automatically whatsoever I can understand this is my first time very very much first time with this machine never worked on before here install now on the ASUS so here in the utility we can see these things are there and in drivers so in driver we can install so many drivers here first is uh, Google Chrome browser uh, this Intel chipset driver we have to install so by this way I will install all drivers and will then show you the afterwards what is happening after doing that you can see all drivers had been installed now you can see the network driver had been installed also and the display driver you can see the HD graphic family Intel had been installed for the audio of course real tech high definition audio had been installed so these are these were what these were what were all drivers had been installed for this machine and now what we are going to do is we have to uh, restart the machine so that the changes take place actually it uh, did ask for restart uh, after installation of the trans after installation of drivers but uh, I prompted it to restart it afterwards because I was about to install all drivers and then I was planning to restart it so now I'm going to restart it and let us see how the display is coming you will feel the difference uh, beautiful display had been come as you can see the difference is there small icons small writing each and everything is good now you can see the setup had been completed windows had been installed and uh, you can see the properties for this machine this is intel core tm i3 2100 CPU and 4 GB is the RAM of course on this machine 64 bit of operation system printing system we did install in so this is and uh, of course the windows is activated original equipment manufacturer this is the product ID and this was what was our installation on this machine hope you learned it and you enjoy it thank you for watching keep on watching and like subscribe also